Disciple Town. This is Sabbath, December 19th. We're getting really close to Christmas. I'm excited and I hope you are too. Today's Disciple Town is continuing our story about the very first Christmas and how Jesus was born as a baby and he had some special visitors from far away to come to see him and bring him gifts. You know, today's Disciple Town is best experienced as a family. So this is a great time to go find mom, go find dad or other special adult and say, hey, come join me for Disciple Town. We got some great stuff. And parents, we ask for your help in sharing these videos. The more families that we can reach with the great Bible-based gospel message of Disciple Town, the more we can bring Jesus to the entire world. So we ask for your help in sharing these videos with your friends and your family on your walls. Let's get started. Boys and girls, I know that I have a lot on my mind right now, and there's a lot of things that I would like to talk to Jesus about, things that I'm just wondering about, I have questions about, or things I might be worried about, or things that I just wanna say, share my day. Great way to talk to Jesus is to pray. What are the three things that we do to get ready to pray? I know you know these, let's do them together. Yeah, the first one is we fold our hands. Let's sing our song. We say, when it's time to pray, I fold my hands, fold my hands, fold my hands. When it's time to pray, I fold my hands, and then I talk to Jesus. What's the second thing we do when it's time to pray? That's right, we bend our knees. Can you bend your knees with me? There we go. Those were not my knees cracking, by the way. Those were Pastor Dave's. Let's sing our song. It goes, when it's time to pray, I bend my knees, bend my knees, bend my knees. When it's time to pray, I bend my knees, and then I talk to Jesus. And what's the third thing we do when it's time to pray? Yep, that's right. We close our eyes, close out all those distractions. Let's sing our song. We say, when it's time to pray, I close my eyes, close my eyes, close my eyes. When it's time to pray, I close my eyes, and then I talk to Jesus. Let's pray, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for keeping us all safe. Thank you for loving us. And oh, Jesus, thank you for coming to the world as a baby born in a stable. Come to save us all. Jesus, we love you so much, and we know that in this time of the year, while there's a lot going on, we know the greatest gift is the gift of you in our heart. Thank you for loving us, Jesus. Amen. Today's Bible story comes to us, of course, from the Bible. That's what makes it a Bible story. Oh, boys and girls, the Bible is full of great stories and messages for you to help you learn about Jesus, about Jesus, how he was born, how when he was a boy, how he uh, was a minister when he was here on earth, how he died, how he rose, and how when we believe in him and let Jesus into our heart, we can live with him in heaven forever. So many great stories in the Bible. Let's sing our Bible song. We say, Bible, Bible, Jesus talks to me. Take a look in the book, Jesus talks to me. Bible, Bible, Jesus talks to me. Take a look in the book, Jesus talks to me. And the story from the Bible that we're talking about today is the baby Jesus. It says, Mary gave birth to Jesus in a stable, dark and small. She knew he was the Son of God, born to save us all. Today's memory verse comes from Psalm 18, verse 1, and it says, I love you, Lord. Can you say that with me? I love you, Lord. Now I want to hear you say it all by yourself. Good. Now one more time together. I love you, Lord. Psalm 18.1. So for the third installment of our story of the first Christmas that we call Baby Jesus is Born, 
we're gonna learn about some more visitors who came a long journey just to come and meet and worship the baby Jesus. Now remember in our story, Mary and Joseph were on their way to Jerusalem because they needed to uh, be counted. It was the census. And there were so many people in town, there was no room at the hotel. So they had to stay in the barn or the stable. And so Mary gave birth to baby Jesus in that barn. And that night, all of heaven was so happy, the angels were singing songs, and the angels were so bright in the sky, they made a bright star. So we talked about last week how the shepherds came uh, to, uh, from their fields because they saw the big star and the angel, and they came to worship baby Jesus. But the shepherds weren't the only people who came to worship Jesus because they saw that star. In fact, there was the night sky, and very, very, very far away, they say far in the east, that star was still shining and still so bright that some very smart scientists, wise men, looked up at the sky. And these were people who studied the stars in the sky. They looked at the stars in the sky all the time and they knew every star and what its position was. But they looked up at the sky and they saw a new star in the sky that they'd never seen before. And they said, what is this? And what can it mean? So these very, very wise men looked up at the sky and they saw that star that they'd never seen before. And so they looked in their books and they did research and they said, what in the world is this? And they said, ah, now we know this star is a special sign that a baby savior has been born. We must go give him gifts. And so off they went and they put together three special gifts, gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. So they got their presents and they followed that star. And it was a long, long journey that they took all the way to Bethlehem to meet baby Jesus and to give him those gifts. But they found baby Jesus by following that star. Even after the long, 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 long journey, they followed that star and the three wise men found baby Jesus and they gave him the gifts. They gave him a gift of gold, they gave him a gift of frankincense, and they gave him the gift of myrrh. So boys and girls, those three wise men, they looked up at the sky and they knew something is different. Something is special. And so they followed that star all the way to find baby Jesus. Next week, we're going to put all the story together and we're going to finish up our story all about the first Christmas when baby Jesus was born. Tune in next week. Boys and girls, the great news of the very first Christmas when baby Jesus was born, we've been talking about this and we've been singing about it ever since it happened 2,000 years ago. There's an old spiritual song called Mary Had a Baby that has lots of verses to it because there's lots of good stuff in this story. And I thought we could sing that song together a little bit every week here in the month of December. So why don't you uh, take a listen and then you can sing it with me. And each week, we'll put in some new verses that talk about the part of the story that we heard today. Here's how it goes. It goes, Mary had a baby, oh Lord. Mary had a baby, oh my Lord. Mary had a baby, oh Lord. The people keep a coming, but the train done gone. Who came to see him, oh Lord. Who came to see him, oh my Lord? Who came to see him, oh Lord? The people keep a coming, but the train done gone. Shepherds came to see him, oh Lord. Shepherds came to see him, oh my Lord. Shepherds came to see him, oh Lord. The people keep a coming, but the train done gone. Boys and girls, we are told that when Mary had baby Jesus, she wrapped him up in special soft uh, blankets called swaddling clothes and then laid him in the manger. Now, can you imagine sleeping in a manger, a place where uh, animal food is stored and where an animal would eat food out of? It's not quite like the beds that we have today. For our craft today, I thought we could make a 
paper bag manger. Kind of see what that may have looked like. So for our craft today, you just need one or two paper lunch bags, some white construction paper, some scissors, marker, paper towel tube, and some glue stick. Let's get started. So for our manger today, we're gonna to use one of these paper lunch bags. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the lunch bag just a little bit higher than where the bottom folds. You can just cut that straight across. Like that. And you can open it up. And that's kind of like what the manger may have looked like. And we're told that that manger was full of hay or full of straw. So you can use the rest of the paper bag. You can just cut that up and turn it into some straw like this. There you go. And this can be our straw. And then we're told that Mary wrapped the baby Jesus, like we said, in swaddling clothes, nice soft blankets. Cut this paper up and we can put a little bit of glue on the paper. And we can just wrap that around, swaddle up little bit here on the end. Nice and cozy. And when you're swaddling a baby, kind of fold up the bottom too. So the baby stays nice and warm. Then we can just draw, there's baby Jesus. His eyes are closed. Is nice and cozy asleep in our manger. We can sing away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright skies shone bright where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy holiday season to join me for Disciple Town for another week, boys and girls. Remember our memory verse, I love you, Lord, Psalm 18.1. Imagine how much God loved us that he sent his son Jesus on the very first Christmas to be born as a baby so he could grow up and be the savior of the world. Let's sing our goodbye song. Disciple Town is over and we are going now. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. From all of us at Disciple Town Kids and your friends at Bolingbroke Church, we wish you a very Merry Christmas season. See you next week.